Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello to all. My name is Muhammad Faiz Aziz Bihamdan and today I want to present to you guys about frogfish. So what is frogfish? Frogfish are any members of the anglerfish family and Trinidae of the order Lobiformes. Frogfish are found in almost all tropical and subtropical ocean and seas around the world. The primary exception being the Mediterranean Sea. There are for seven species of frogfish that was identified. Frogfish are small, short, and stocky, and sometimes covered in spinule and other appendage to aid in camouflage. The camouflage aid in protection from predators and enable them to lure prey. Many species can change color to adapt the surrounding. Some are covered with other organisms such as algae or hydrozoa. Frogfish mark pointed upward with palatal teeth. Next. Let's take a look at the taxonomy. Frogfish is under Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Actinopterygii, Order Lopiformes, Suborder Antena Riodei, Family Antrinidae, which is Anglerfish. For the feeding, frogfish is the carnivorous, which is a, they are meat eater. They can eat the prey twice its size due to their large mouth opening. It can consume prey by sucking into its mouth as fast as 6 milliseconds <coughs> and the striking extremely rapidly. They use esca to lure the prey and prefer consume small fishes. Next. For the movement, frogfish generally do not move very much. They are preferring to lie on the sea floor and wait for the prey to approach. Once the prey is spotted, they can approach slowly using their pectoral and pelvic fin to walk along the floor. They rarely swim, preferring to clamber over the sea bottom with their fins in one of two gates. In the first, they alternately move their pectoral fin forward, propelling themselves somewhat like a two-legged tetrapod, leaving the pelvic fin out. Alternately, they can move in something like a slow gallop, whereby they move their pectoral fins simultaneously forward and back, transferring their weight to the pelvic fins while moving the pectoral forward. With either gait, they can cover only short stretch in open water. Frogfish can swim with strokes of the caudal fin. They also use jet propulsion, often used by younger frogfish. It is achieved by rhythm meekly gulping water and forcing it out through their gill opening, also called opercular openings, which lie behind their pectoral fins. Let's take a look at the mimicry. The unusual appearance of the frogfish skin that varies with spots, stripes, what skin flaps and filament function to conceal it from predators and sometimes to mimic a pot potential meal to its prey. In the study of animal behavior, this is known as aggressive mimicry. Their unusual shape, color, and skin texture disguise frogfish. Some resemble stone or coral, while others imitate sponges or sea squid with dark splotch instead of holes. Many frogfish can change their color to adapt the surroundings. The light color are generally yellow or yellow browns, while the darker are green black or dark red. They usually appear uh, with the lighter color, but the change can last from a few days to several weeks. What trigger the change is unknown. Lastly, rather than typical dorsal fin, frogfish have the frontmost of the three fins is called the elysium or road, and is stopped with esca or lure that used to attract prey close to them. The elysium often has stripe marking, while the esca take a different form in each species. Because of the variety of color even within a single species, the esca and elysium are useful tools to differentiate among different variety. Some of them resemble fish, some shrimp, some polychaetes, some tube worm, and some simply a formless lump. I think that's all from me for the presentation for the frogfish. Thank you for listening. Thank you.